Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Spanish tragedy and today we get to hear from Hieronimo in Act 2, Scene 5. But wait a second, we just finished with Act 2, Scene 3 yesterday. So we got a little bit of catching up that we need to do. The important things to know are that Bell Imperia, in order to spite Balthazar, has decided she's going to love Horatio. But that is actually turning into a thing. They, they met and they were all lovely with each other. But Lorenzo and Balthazar plotted with her servant, Pedrangano, to be able to like watch them be all lovey so that they can plot a whatever. And they saw Bell Imperia and Horatio agree to meet in Hieronimo's yard, in his field, on, on his lands, whatever. Um, and Lorenzo is like, ha 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 ha, because they have sworn revenge or they're, they're very angry with Horatio for loving Bell Imperia because that's preventing her from loving Balthazar. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that Balthazar killed her previous love, Don Andrea, whose ghost is watching this whole thing go on. So that's what's happening in, in that sphere. We also have the King of Spain wanting to marry Belth wanting to marry uh, Bel Imperia off to Balthazar, and he has made arrangements with the Duke of Castile in order for that to happen. And the, the ambassador of Portugal is going back to tell the Viceroy of Portugal that this is going to happen. And the, the King of Spain said to Hieronimo or said to the Duke of Castile, like, you better make sure that your daughter is ready to marry Balthazar. And that was the end of Act 2, Scene 3. So Act 2, Scene 4, we are in Hieronimo's field where Bel Imperia and Horatio said they were going to meet. And they do meet and they start flirting and really flirting and doing all of this lovey stuff. And they tell Pedrangano to go stand guard and make sure that nobody interrupts them. And Pedrangano is like, ha ha ha, I'll get a lot more gold if I go get Lorenzo and Balthazar right now which he does. He goes to retrieve them. Well, these two are canoodling. There's a little bit of kissing that happens, that kind of thing. But then Balthazar, Lorenzo, Pedrangano, and another servant, Pedrangano is disguised at this point, come in and attack. They end up killing Horatio. They hang him from a tree while Bell Imperia is watching and she's screaming and like you're killing him and she's wanting revenge and they're like shut her up and and let's just take care of this they they hang Horatio from a tree and then stab him a few times just to make sure that he's actually dead so wow major murder happening in act two scene four of this play and Bell Imperia was like you know don't it's not his fault it's not his fault let him go you know, kill me instead, but, and they don't. They, they just take Bell Imperia away and leave Horatio's body hanging from a tree in his father's yard, in Hieronimo's yard. So act two, scene five, kicks off with Hieronimo saying, what outcries pluck me from my naked bed and chill my throbbing heart with trembling fear, which never danger yet could not before. Who calls Hieronimo? Speak, here I am. I did not slumber, therefore it was no dream. No. No, it was some woman cried for help, and here within this garden did she cry, and in this garden must I rescue her. But stay. What murderous spectacle is this? A man hanged up and all the murderers gone, and in my bower to lay the guilt on me. This place was made for pleasure, not for death. garments that he wears I oft have seen. Alas, it is Horatio, my sweet son. Oh no, but he that while him was my son. Oh, was it thou that called me from my bed? Oh, speak, if any spark of life remain. I am thy father who hath slain my son. What savage monster, not of human kind, hath here been glutted with thy harmless blood and left thy bloody corpse dishonored here? For me, amidst these dark and dreadful shades, to drown thee with an ocean of my tears. Oh, heavens, why made you night to cover sin? By day this deed of darkness had not been. O oh, earth, why dost thou not in time devour the vile profaner of this sacred bower? O oh, poor Horatio, 
what hadst thou misdone? To lease thy life ere life was new begun. O wicked butcher, whatsoever thou wert, how can thou strangle virtue and desert? I me most wretched that I've lost my joy in leasing my Horatio, my sweet boy. So it's a father finding his dead son's body hanging from a tree, which is, you know, a pretty big <laughs> momentous thing. You know, he comes out, he's, he's awoken from his sleep by Bell Imperia shouting, and he goes out to see what it is, and he sees the body hanging from the tree, he cuts it down, he recognizes that it's Horatio, and he has no idea why Horatio has been killed, who would have done such a thing, how could this be allowed, you know, if it, only it was daytime, this wouldn't have happened, all of this, and you know, how wretched is he, and so he's, this is him grieving, wallowing in the grief, the shock of finding his son's body hanged and stabbed, in a tree and he makes enough noise in his laments that his wife comes out and and they do the you know are we sure this is this is him that looks like him it must be him but it can't be him where is my son my son can't be dead lots of mourning lots of grieving they get the servants come out pedro comes out um another servant jaques or jacques however they pronounce it there comes out and they're like you know do you recognize this person do you right is like is this actually our son all of that going on and we're not quite done with the grief yet we're going to get to hear a little bit more of it from hieronimo tomorrow but big news and and, and balthazar and lorenzo moving very quickly to take care of what they think the problem is but it really wasn't the problem it was just poor horatio who poor bell imperia decided that she was gonna love so that she wouldn't have to love balthazar and i can tell you i i don't think that this is going to raise balthazar and bell imperia's esteem do you anyway come on back tomorrow for more when we hear a smidge more from hieronimo as he mourns his son i'll see you then for that Mwah.